Kelsey, they hope to get the results back in the next six months or so. There have been a lot of ups and downs for those who believe that Adnan Syed was wrongfully convicted. And DNA technology has advanced quite a bit in those years since his conviction. Prosecutors say they are not going to block sending evidence to the lab. Another glimmer of hope for Adnan Syed, who has remained steadfast in his innocence for the killing of Haymin Lee. This is much more than a glimmer. This is a wide open tunnel of hope. Um, it is more hope than we've had in the past because for the first time in the history of this case, we are not at odds with the state of Maryland. Syed's childhood friend, Rabia Chowdhury, wrote a book on the case. To be honest, none of, it, none of the evidence listed in this petition has ever been tested for anything. Not even the rape kit. Not even the rape kit. Syed and Lee attended Woodlawn High. In 1999, her body was dumped in a shallow grave in Leakin Park. No one ever has been able to provide any shred of evidence. It had anything but friendship towards her, like love and respect for her. I had no reason to kill her. Interest exploded after the serial podcast raised questions about Syed's conviction. State of Maryland versus Syed. Maryland's highest court upheld it, dealing a blow to efforts to free him. Now, prosecutors have agreed to DNA tests on clothes, hair, and other evidence. Anything he touched might actually have his DNA. So we are pretty sure this killer touched her clothing, touched her uh, undergarments, touched her shoes. Um, there was hair left on her, there was hair found on her body that did not belong to her or to Adnan. Syed's team is also hoping for a review of his sentence under a new Maryland law, which can modify sentences of those convicted before they turned 18 if they've served 20 years. None of it will be a slam dunk. This sort of testing will not dictate the rise and fall of this case. It will not necessarily mean that uh, Mr. Syed is automatically released, released or his position is vindicated. Now, Lee's family has said they believe justice was served in this case, and every new court proceeding and court battle is like reliving a nightmare. In downtown Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.